Hi everybody and welcome to another Khan Academy tutorial. We're doing interior and exterior angles of a polygon. We'll go ahead and jump right into this. I'm gonna give you some formulas that you'll need for this. One of the formulas that you're gonna need is you're gonna need that the sum of interior angles, sum of interior angles is equal to N minus two times 180. Okay, that's the main one you're gonna need. Um, and then probably uh, each interior angle in a regular polygon, this is a regular polygon, parentheses, each interior angle, that's a G, equals N minus two times 180 divided by N, okay? Now, we're gonna use these formulas for these four problems that are coming up. So each interior angle of a regular polygon measures 156. So we're gonna go to the second formula and we're gonna say 156 that's the, the angle of each interior angle, so that's 156, equals n minus two times 180 divided by n. So we're asked to find n, n is, uh, is equal to the number of sides. So essentially all we need to do here is solve for n. This is more algebra than geometry, but uh, this is the process. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna multiply, multiply both sides by n first, and I get 156 n equals uh, n minus two, parentheses, 180. Now I'm gonna distribute the 180 to both the n and the minus two, so I get 156n equals 180n minus 360. Now there's an n on both sides, as you can see here and here, so I'm gonna get them together, and actually I'm gonna subtract 180 from both sides, usually I use the other one, but one minus 180n, and that gives me my negative 24n equals negative 360. That's where a little calculator comes in handy. So I just need to divide 360, or that's negative 360, divided by negative 24. And I get n equals 15. So that means it has 15 sides. So really it's just setting up your problem based on the formulas and then solving for the needed measurement. Find the measure of each exterior angle of a regular octagon. Okay, different formula now. So that was interior angle, now we're talking about exterior angles. So the sum of exterior angles of a polygon, this one's easy, this is equal to 360. Now each exterior angle is gonna be equal to 360 divided by the number of sides, okay? So if we know there's a certain number of sides, that means it's gonna have the same number of sides as angles. So we do 360, the sum of the extra angles divided by the number of angles will tell us how much each is. Now we're told that it's equal, uh, N is equal to eight. That's the number of sides in an octagon. So all we're gonna do here is simply do 360 divided by eight, and that's gonna tell us our answer. So we do 360 divided by eight, and that equals 45. So we know that each exterior angle is gonna be equal to 45 degrees. Moving on to the next one. Again, the setup is the important part, the formulas, make sure you pause, go back and pause those formulas if you need them. The measure of each, each exterior angle of a regular polygon is 30 degrees. How many sides does the polygon have? So now we going back to that formula, which was each exterior equals 360 divided by N. Now we're looking for N instead of the each exterior. So we're gonna plug in 30 for the each exterior. Okay, that gets plugged in there. And we say equals 360 divided by N. I'm gonna multiply. Well, you could do, a, I'm gonna do probably the easiest way that I normally show. I put uh, 30 over one and I cross multiply and I get 30 N equals 360 and then I divide by 30. And that gives me N equals 12. Almost out of time, that's my warning bell. Okay, last problem. The sum of interior angles of a regular polygon is 1800. Okay, so we go in 1800 and this is sum this time. Okay, so I know that's N minus two times 180 and we wanna find the measure of each interior angle of the polygon, okay? Find the measure of each interior angle of the polygon. Okay, so the first thing I need to do is find the number of sides. So I'm gonna find N first. So I divide by 180. You can do that right away. So I get 10 equals N minus two, and then I add two to both sides, and I get 12. It's a 12-sided shape. Now, I also need to plug this 12 into the other formula now, which is N minus two times 180 over N, and that's gonna tell me each interior angle. 
Okay, that's from the first problem that we had. So I put in 12, that's the number of sides, minus two times 180, and then divided by 12, and that will tell me the measure of each interior angle. So I have 10 times uh, 180. This is the first thing that we got, that was the sum. And then I just divide that by 12. So I do 1800 divided by 12, and that equals 150. So each interior angle is gonna be equal to 150 degrees. And that's my final answer. So I go to 150 and I am done. Hopefully you'll be hearing this sound. Thank you for joining me for West Explains Best, doing a Khan Academy tutorial. I look forward to seeing you next time.